Channel 3, Wave TV, Louisville. side and by golly we're ready to go with another big week of championship wrestling i'm ready to get oh, into I'm it ready too i tell you we're going to have the dutchman dutch mantel in here against wayne ferris that's just the opening mm -hmm. match today tag team match the nightmares they'll have jimmy hart with them we'll be going against roy rogers and steve kern should be a great tag team action and then the superstar bill dundee will be going against the golden boy chick donovan and that's not just a match that is an expiration of time match so maybe oh. one fall maybe three or four on that is that a great show or is that yes, a great indeed. show i, I want to tell wait. you in addition to that we have some super action on a bout that really intrigued me and that was a match between steve kern and golden boy chick donovan we'll have some action out of that lots of other things too we better get at it let's go we'll be back in just a moment I tell you, it's going to be a big night right there in the Louisville Gardens come Tuesday night. Mm, man, let me tell you, dream night. We're going to tell you all about all the dreams coming up a little bit later on. But right now, I want to talk about a couple of specific ones. The Nightmares want a handicap match with a dream where only the Dream's mask is at stake. They're going to get it. Dream is going to get a match where he and Bill Dundee will be against the Nightmares. No time, no disqualification with their mask at stake. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Louisville Gardens has seen a many, a many battle, but you're going to see one of the roughest, toughest battles that you ever witnessed in your life because that was my dream to have my partner, Billy the Superstar Dundee, at my side against the Nightmares mask at stake. And I guarantee you one thing, if I can whoop both of them by myself, there ain't no doubt in my mind that me and the Superstar can't beat him, me and him joined together because you know my mask is at stake against both of them and I guarantee you I'm going to bust both of their eyes. I'm going to bust four out me and the superstar going to do it. <laughs> the dream, oh. carrying on. Dutch, I got to ask you, Kevin Sullivan wants a battle royal with Sullivan, Ferris, and Nightmares, and Dutch Mantel. How can you ever agree to be one against the family? Okay, I got a dream, too. I got a dream of getting Kevin Sullivan that's in the right. ring by himself. Now, that's my dream, but to get that dream, I'm going to have to get through a battle royal with the whole family in there. But the contract says that all I got to do is show up. Now, I was born at night, Lance Russell, but not last night, Sullivan, and I'm not a natural-born fool because my mama didn't raise one. And I'm going to get through that battle royal, and I'm going to get you, Sullivan. Like I said, my mama didn't raise no food, and I'm not going to start choosing that in Louisville. When I get you, Sullivan, I'm going to show everybody that I can beat you, and beat you I will. And in Dutch's dream, of course, Hart is barred from the ringside, but he's, he said he's going to have to get through that battle royal where the family will be in there actually against Dutch Mantel. That's lots more of us, so you stay tuned right where you are. I'm going to tell you all about everybody's dream coming up Tuesday night. We'll get to it in just a minute. Okay, we have at least a uh, half of the participants for our opening bout in the ring already, and here comes the other half of it. We're talking about uh, pretty boy Wayne Ferris and his vocal manager, Jimmy Hart. Come here, Russell, get up, baby. Jimmy, we'll talk to you later. We'll talk to you later in the program. Would you go sit down over there now? Come on now. Look at this, Russell, man. I look it. at this, baby. The greatest day of my life. Chicago Tribune. Jimmy Hart beats Lawler. New yeah. York Times. Is that the New York Times That's or is the New it? York Read Times. it. Read it, baby. The hey, New hey. Southern Heavyweight Champion. You want to sit down or we'll and count your boy Tribune. out? Okay, let's get over there. The New Southern Heavyweight Champion. We will, in fact, be forced to talk to him later on. Right now, Dave. It's one fall, 10-minute time limit match. And introducing from Memphis, Tennessee, 240 pounds on the left of your screen, Wayne Ferris. Going against him from Oil Trough, Texas at 228 pounds, Dutch Mantel. This match one fall, 10-minute time limit. Referee, Jerry Calhoun. Woogie, the referee saying everybody's set and ready. He's telling Hart to get down off there and get at the uh, ringside where he should be. Let's hope he stays there. Bell time, here we go. And we're 
off and running. Mantell and Ferris. And look at the Dutchman come out firing. I tell you, off and running is right. Wayne Ferris running to get out of the ring, get away from Dutch Mantell. As Dutch was ready as that opening bell sounded. Dutchman. One after Jimmy Hart is out wandering around on the floor. And now he turns his chair around. Hopefully he'll sit there and stay there. But Ferris, track shoes still on, out of the ring again. Conference with Jimmy Hart. You know, Dave, that's not bad strategy by pretty boy Wayne because when a guy comes in as pumped up and ready to go as, as Dutch Mantell is, if you can slow him down and take a little of that steam, it may get his timing off and all, so it may not be bad strategy on Ferris's part. Mantell working the arm lock. Upper arm across Ferris's back is a good measure there. A little hair pulling by Ferris. Dutch Mantell returns the favor. They're pulling each other's hair. Back on the ropes, referee Jerry Calhoun trying to get him to break. Get back into the center of the ring. Dutch Mantell. Well, he got him back out near the center. He just yanked Ferris out of the corner. Minute 20 gone in this one fall 10-minute time limit match. 10 minutes only, the time limit. The arm bar by Dutch Mantell on Wayne Ferris's left arm. Ferris on his knees. Ferris with the Dutchman up in the air. He drops him with a body slam, but Dutch hangs on. Ferris unable to break the hold on his own, so he turns to the referee and says, hey. Pulling my hair. Doesn't work either. Dutch Mantell still got the hold. Ferris trying to hook his arm back around uh, Dutch's leg, get him off his feet. Dutch Mantell, well, he laid Ferris down on the mat there with a right hand. And Ferris immediately heads for the apron down on the floor, and Jimmy Hart. Explains what he should do now to control Dutch Mantell. Two minutes, 40 seconds gone. Ferris back in the ring. Dutchman still stalking him. The referee Jerry Calhoun uh, wanted Dutch to back up while Ferris got out of the corner. that Ferris's weight comes in at 240 but I swear to you that this guy has gotten up over 250 he is really big he is big indeed the uh, the weight uh, is reported to us by uh, Mr. Ferris and his manager at 240 yeah. yeah he hangs on it but I would bet anything in the world that he'll top 250 that didn't seem to be bothering Dutch Mantell though Dutchman has pretty well been in control uh, during the match so far. We're past the three and a half minute mark. You hear Hart giving him the little family pitch down there, telling Dutch you left the family, and I'll guarantee you're going to regret it. Oh, Dutchman. Almost up in the air, but he slips out on it, rolls Ferris down. Count of one, and Ferris able to get the shoulders up after the count of one. Dutch Mantell. Ferris thought he had him going down to the mat, but uh, Dutch Mantell slipped out of it, and it's Wayne Ferris who finds himself there now. And Dutch returns to the left arm. He's had it barred and uh, working several holes on Ferris's arm throughout the match so far. Mm, handful of hair. And Dutch Mantell says, all right, he can do it, I can too. Referee Jerry Calhoun decided that's enough from both of them. He broke the hole. Dutch Mantell, though. Got Ferris going, but Ferris fires him into the ropes and got him with the knees. He came roaring off of there. 445 fired in this one fall, 10 minute time limit match. Key to that knee off the rope, Dave, is that Ferris had the presence to get up close to him, and Dutch did it, too. He didn't let him get a chance when he came off the rope. 
to get himself set and nailed him, and that's just what Dutch did right then. Dutchman. Ferris uh, sitting on the mat. Dutch has got almost a surfboard on him here. He's got those arms hooked. And Ferris is going to have to expend a lot of energy to break this hole. That's really not a best advantage thing for Dutch, though, either, because Dutch is expending a lot of energy holding the much heavier Ferris. Uh, it's just something that he had to go into to nail Ferris with both arms like that, and I'm sure he's looking and thinking about some way to get it into a much more advantageous hole. Ferris able to break it. Whoa, drops with the knee. Dutch not there. Dutch Mantell, body slam on Wayne Ferris. 